The U.S. Census is vital to our democracy. Its results affect some of the most crucial parts of our political system, like how many representatives serve in your area. But the potential addition of a new question on the upcoming 2020 survey has a lot of people worried, questioning the very own intent of the census itself. So let us explain. A census of the U.S. population has been conducted every 10 years since 1790. The Constitution demands it. It's that simple. And every 10 years, the survey's results help determine the distribution of congressional representatives, electoral college votes, congressional districts, and how much federal funds are spent on public services like Medicare and education. It basically puts representative in representative democracy. But it's changed a lot since it first started. From the data collection methods, to the language, to the actual questions themselves, the census has continually tried to keep itself up to date, and the 2020 survey is no different. The Census Bureau announced that it would add a question asking American households which members of their families are U.S. citizens. And it's creating, as you can imagine, a lot of controversy. In fact, the case has already made its way to the Supreme Court. The Department of Justice, which requested the change, claims that this last minute addition is needed because it needs to more accurately count for eligible voters in order to appropriately enforce the Voting Rights Act. But critics aren't so sure about that, and more than two dozen states and cities have sued the administration. They're concerned that adding this question will scare millions of immigrants in marginalized communities from filling out the survey, resulting in a complete misrepresentation of what America actually looks like. And misrepresenting inevitably means misallocating congressional seats and federal funds. Research found that the citizenship question was a major barrier for groups that are already considered the hardest to count, like the Latinx community or black people. But some also worry that the administration could be using this as yet another weapon to target marginalized communities. According to research from the Census Bureau itself, asking about citizenship during periods of strong immigration enforcement like the ones we're seeing now is likely to prevent immigrants from responding altogether. The Census Bureau actually expects that 630,000 households may not complete the 2020 survey at all. So really, we should be asking ourselves, what does this question add? What's the real intent behind all of this, right? Because to undercount immigrants and communities of color, to not accurately capture who represents America, would defeat the very own purpose of the census. An incorrect count silences the voices that need to be heard right now, not the ones that need to be ignored.